Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing for you the Ulla Enriksen Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum and I am also going to be talking about the Ulla Enriksen Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Creme. Before we begin the video though, I would love to welcome all of those who are new to my channel. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician and I love reviewing skincare products. Do feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below for you. And I am most active on Instagram, so be sure to follow me there if you want to stay up to date. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss an upload. We are chatting about the Ulla Enriksen Retinol Sleeping Creme and the Retinol Power Serum. The serum is packaged in a um, white glass bottle and the creme is, uh, or the moisturizer actually, is packaged in a plastic uh, jar with a plastic lid. So both products have a lavender tint to it and that promises to brighten and kind of refresh the skin. It really just livens up the skin. There is a scent to this and fragrance is listed on the ingredient stack, ingredient number 18 in the serum and ingredient number 17 in the moisturizer. The scent, I do find that it does not it does linger on the skin for a little bit, uh, but when I go ahead and use the serum during the day, once I apply my sunscreen, the uh, scent goes away. I do find that the scent is not fresh or refreshing. It is very citrus, uh, almost lemon-like. Um, you can find both of these products currently on the Ulla Enriksen website at sephora.com and at Mode Sense. So you do um, get one ounce of the serum and she retails for $58.00. For the moisturizer, you uh, do get 1.7 ounces, which is a traditional amount for a moisturizer, and she retails for $55. So now we'll talk about some ingredients. The ingredients that I am talking about are shared by both units. So we have Bakukil, which is a natural retinol alternative that helps to even tone, improve texture, and minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles. It has antimicrobials and anti-inflammatory properties. Within the formula you also get glycolic and lactic acid. Glycolic, as I've talked about before, helps to break down the bonds between cells and acts as a strong degreasing agent. Lactic acid uh, breaks down the bonds between cells to allow for easier exfoliation of dead surface cells and it hydrates the skin. This blend of uh, glycolic and lactic acid will gently improve skin tone and texture. You also have squalene here and this is a naturally occurring oil and it helps to keep the skin moist. We also have a few extracts here. We have lemon, sugarcane, sandalwood, licorice root, and chamomile extracts that will help to condition and soften the skin. Chamomile, as we all know, is also a great anti-inflammatory. I began using the Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum under my Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. Um, and you saw that in uh, one of my videos prior. And you'll see it in the demo as well, how I use both of these products together. I have been incredibly surprised at how luminous that combo uh, leaves my skin and just kind of preps and primes it for uh, the day. Uh, Ulla Enriksen does recommend that if you are to use the uh, serum during the day that you layer it underneath their Truth Serum. One, I, I don't own 
Truth Serum, and two, I have what I think is an allergy to vitamin C. I have used what's available to me currently, and that is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. And I find that personally this pairing works really nicely over my skin as Vino Perfect is brightening, plumping, and hydrating, and retinol targets fine lines, dark spots, and it firms the skin while also minimizing the look of pores. I'm not sure if I would recommend that you go in with the serum during the day alone. You can definitely try and see if resurfacing during the day works for you or if your skin is conditioned, you can resurface day and night although I imagine that would be a little harsh on the skin. I have used a number of acids and over-the-counter retinols prior to testing the serum and the moisturizer, and my favorite acids to use have been glycolic and lactic acids. And as far as moisturizers are concerned, this is my second kind of retexturizing, exfoliating uh, moisturizer. My first uh, was uh, the Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect Brightening Glycolic Night Cream, which I also did a review on and I will uh, link that down below for you. So compared, the Caudalie moisturizer is richer, a bit gentler on the skin and it is not fragranced. The Sleeping Creme by Ole is um, lightweight, hydrating, and a little bit more active, I find, on the skin. If I were to purchase each item seasonably, which I do tend to do, I do gravitate towards certain products during fall and winter, and then I'll change things up a little bit and then gravitate towards a different type of product during spring and summer. So I would probably reach for this during fall and winter and make this my go-to during spring and summer because she is a lighter weight. I feel that she is hydrating and this girl is moisturizing. As far as results are concerned, uh, when used during the day, the serum leaves my skin with an amazing glow, which you have seen in videos past. Um, it's smoothing and almost priming uh, the skin uh, for what's to come. Uh, my skin also feels hydrated and not heavy whatsoever. Um, makeup wears nicely over top and I have had no issues. Um, when I do use this combo at night, um, I, you know, as, as I was applying, I didn't experience a tingle or a pin prickle, and I'd wake up with smoother, retexturized, much brighter skin. And my pores, um, especially here along the forehead, appear to be uh, much smaller. One thing to note about pores you cannot shrink pores. You are born with the size of the pores that you have. The pores only get smaller as you age because your collagen production uh, slows down, therefore causing your skin to kind of sag and start to show uh, your pores or your pores start to appear larger then. The only way that you can minimize the look of pores is by exfoliating. You can do this physically or chemically and making sure that you are, you know, doing extractions or seeing a professional to do extractions for you so that you do not cause any uh, damage to the skin. So that is how you can keep your pores looking small you cannot make your pores smaller. Keeping your skin hydrated as well, drinking your water and moisturizing will also keep your pores from looking larger than they do or are. Whenever I do use the serum, I do make sure to use less than a pump because I feel like this uh, dispenser 
just gives you way too much product. But I do try to use less than one pump. I do apply about a pea-sized amount of the uh, moisturizer at night. And when used during the day, the serum works well over other serums and uh, incredibly well over um, moisturizer or under a moisturizer and um, my desired SPF for the day. Throughout the testing period during the day, I would follow the uh, serum with Pharmacy's Better Days Ahead and my skin held up very well. I had no pilling, no fuss, and I would absolutely uh, follow Better Days Ahead with a sunscreen. I will uh, be sure to enter the demo here so that you can see uh, what products I have underneath uh, my makeup today. All right, so welcome to the demo portion of today's video. Um, it is 2.41. And Toby and I already had an eventful morning. Uh, we went for a walk and then we came straight home. Um, I did wear a morning routine already. Um, so I did want to cleanse the skin, uh, remove any sunscreen, dirt, grime, debris from our walk. Um, so for that, I used the Murad Prebiotic 4-in-1 Multi Cleanser. I'm going to close that door right now. And I'm back. So that is what I used for uh, my cleanser. I am going to show you my morning routine, or at least a variation of it, uh, with using the uh, products that we are reviewing today. I will just be using the serum. Um, I won't be using the moisturizer because that's the one that I use during my nighttime routine and it's 2.42 now, so I'll be doing the morning routine. So, still obsessed with this um, Hydrofel Skin Supplement by Erno Laszlo. I just can't cut enough. So you've seen me use this time and time again and... I kid you not, my skin has been feeling so balanced recently that I don't, my skin doesn't really crave this anymore, but because I am a creature of habit, um, I'll still put it on the skin, you know. So there we are. Good layer of that. Close her up. So delicious. And like you heard me mention before, Ula Enriksen uh, does recommend that you layer the Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum with their Truth Serum. Um, I personally do not own Truth Serum anymore, um, but it was my serum of choice after um, I had a very long relationship with Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. Um, so that was my go-to after the Caudalie. That's so weird. Um, so that was my go-to after I, I moved on from this in uh, my 20s. So now I don't know if I would be reactive to uh, the Truth Serum, but I do remember it being a favorite of mine for a long while. So, because I don't own the Truth Serum and I am reactive to vitamin C currently, I have been layer, layering um, the Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum with the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. And you've seen uh, me do this in a few routines already, but I'll do it again for uh, this review. So I'll do a couple drops here. I'm going to try not to be as conservative as I was in my last video. Um, and then I'll just work this in. And if you're interested in seeing a review on this serum. I will link it down below for you. So you can already see that the skin is radiant. It's plump, absorbing all of the goodness. 
Then, because we can, I'm going to go in with the Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. Now, you don't have to use this during the day. If you are looking to intensely uh, retexturize the skin and improve um, the look of your pores, keep them nice and clean and also firm the skin, you can definitely use this during the day um, if nighttime resurfacing isn't enough for you and if you haven't uh, developed a sensitivity to it. If you've conditioned your skin enough, um, you should be able to use this morning and evening, although I wouldn't recommend that you do it daily. So I'm going to do um, a little bit less than a pump. I do like that this opens and closes. So I'm going to open her up, and one full pump is way too much. So I'll do a little bit less, and you can totally see the color here, that lavender color. So I will press and holy radiance. Now, here. So there we are. Put some on my neck too. So there we are. That is what my skin looks like with, with the Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. Okay, and I'm not going to do an eye serum today. I'll just do the Essential C Eye Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 50 by Dr. Murad. This, this has caffeine in there. Perfect for under eye puffiness. I have been living for this recently. Now, this is a migrating eye cream, so if you do not wear uh, makeup, do just try to stick to applying this to your orbital bone. Otherwise, you will uh, have a little bit of irritation. Um, and this is currently sold out from the Sephora site, but this has been my go-to uh, recently. Uh, this is the Pharmacy uh, Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector. This is an SPF of 30, and this has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Sometimes I'll like go underneath my shirt and I'll apply sunscreen here as well. Uh, today is not that day though. I do recommend that you do that. That is my daytime routine with using the Ula Enriksen Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. So I would recommend this to anyone. Um, really, except maybe those who have a sensitive skin due to the added fragrance within this product. So if you are concerned with uneven tone and texture, dullness and fine lines, um, either one of these uh, could work for you. If you are thinking of elevating your skincare routine and perhaps trying retinol in the future, this could be a great product to try before as a means to condition your skin. This, however, due to its glycolic and lactic acid content, may require some conditioning too. I do find that using exfoliating acids um, over the skin nightly may cause breakouts, redness, or irritation, so I definitely suggest that you listen to your skin and take it slow. Um, you definitely want to start using acids two to three times a week. You know, start start at two times a week. Um, and if you find that your skin is balanced and you're not experiencing any redness or irritation or a pinprickle or a burning sensation from applying either one of these products, then by all means proceed to using this uh, to three times a week. Um, I do find personally that alternating uh, between exfoliating products Products that contain acids with hydrating serums or perhaps just a hydrating nourishing moisturizer uh, will definitely benefit your skin a lot more than going in with acids nightly as this will decrease your chances of irritating or damaging your skin and therefore
therefore deeming this product as ineffective or too harsh. This is a natural alternative to retinol and we do use this ingredient at work in a clarifying formula. So I do find that this may actually minimize uh, breakouts as it also has a number of soothing and calming ingredients. I was too concerned with um, keeping up with my pore size, to be honest, and I did not track, uh, you know, breakouts. I did, however, experience a number of breakouts here along my hairline, and that is my fault because I, w I was not doing the greatest job at cleansing my skin at night, so I did have a few breakouts here along the hairline that is not or was not caused by this product. It was my fault because I was doing such a crappy job at washing my skin at night. Pro tip. If you are experiencing breakouts here along your forehead or your hairline, it could mean that you aren't cleansing the skin properly or if you are working out and wearing um, like baseball caps, uh, maybe it's time to wash them or it'd be a good idea that you cleanse your skin immediately after working out or breakouts along the hairline as well can be uh, due to uh, new hair care products or hair spray. I am on my monthly and so far I've had no real breakouts here along the face or the jawline, which is where hormonal breakouts um, appear. So if you want to approach your skincare in a conservative fashion, which I do on my clients, I, I approach their skin very conservatively. I try to build on that resistance. Um, but if you want to approach your skincare journey in a conservative fashion, I do recommend that you, you know, start with a moisturizer first. If that resurfaces your skin gently enough and without irritation, added dryness, or excessive breakouts, um, then I would say that it is safe enough for you to begin to use both products together. Um, do remember that serums are the most potent formulas in your skincare arsenal. So if you're going in with a lactic or a glycolic acid serum, do know that its potency is going to be uh, much greater in serum form than in moisturizer form. Now let's chat about some pros. I like that you can easily identify these as Ulla and Rickson uh, products. I really like the packaging as well. I feel like it's sleek, it's white, and I do like that the uh, serum is packaged in a glass bottle. I do want to dive deeper and do more research on glass versus um, like plastic jars like this as far as skincare. And I will try to post my findings in a future video um, because although I find that glass isn't travel friendly, maybe it's much better to uh, put skincare formulas in glass jars or glass bottles for you know perhaps the integrity of the formula. I can layer these two babes together and just have incredibly luminous skin. I also like that the serum is versatile so you can use this babe morning and evening. I do also like that both of these products are great at conditioning the skin if you plan to use retinol in the future. And, you know, for the people on the other side of the spectrum, um, this is also a great retinol alternative if you are planning to never use a retinol-based product. I know of a few people who have used retinol in the past and who have vowed to never use it Again, this is again personal preference. I'm not trying to push anyone into using retinol and I'm not trying to dissuade anyone from using retinol. I feel like we have to respect everybody's skincare journey and what products they like, what ingredients they don't like, how they like their packaging. I feel like sometimes it's easy for us to comment 
and just kind of knock people down because of the choices that they're making with their skincare. Um, my purpose here is to educate and to also respect your choices. Um, there is a limited edition Power Duo all-in-one perfecting set available at sephora.com where you get both of these items full size for $72. The retail value is $113. Um, so if you feel like this checked off any of your skincare concerns, um, you should definitely check out the bundle and maybe, you know, just start with a moisturizer, condition your skin, and then perhaps move on to um, the serum like I suggested earlier in the video. And I do have um, a con here. Um, this is, both of these products are fragranced. Um, it is the 18th ingredient on the ingredients deck in the serum and the 17th ingredient in the moisturizer. Fragrance does not offer the skin any benefits. If you are seeking products that are fragrance free, uh, this serum and moisturizer may not be a good fit for you. Do remember though that not everybody seeks products without fragrances, um, just as not everyone seeks products without parabens. Um, if you have a sensitivity to fragrances, you should definitely test either of these products before purchasing. Although personally, I do not have a problem with fragrance because it does not irritate or sensitize my skin, I will be rating I'll say both of these an 8.5 out of 10. If used correctly, both of these products will deliver on their claims. I personally have normal skin, and as far as texture, all I really want to work on is, is the lines and my forehead. My forehead has always been an issue. Um, I hardly ever break out, and I only have, I would say, like a scar here from like chicken pox, and I have another one right here from chicken pox. Um, and that I can only really work on if I get it like lasered or something. Um, but as far as retexturizing, like yes, I want smoother, plumper skin. And I feel like this has definitely done a good job at helping me achieve that. And this um, does a good job at very gently uh, retexturizing the skin while keeping it hydrated and reducing uh, the redness or irritation that could have potentially happened. I feel like if you um, are introducing acids into your routine, um, definitely try to pair that with a product that gives you redness relief, anti-inflammatory benefits as well, just to further protect your skin. I have, I don't think I've used enough uh, Ula Enriksen products to say that this could be a favorite as opposed to everything else within their range, but I feel like these are results driven. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say now. Um, again, thank you all so much for watching the video, for spending some time with me today, and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm so hungry. Hi everyone and welcome. Mic check. <laughs> ah, that's itch. Will it ever just leave me alone? Um, okay.